I'm hoping this is all, this is okay. This is all good to go. But hello everyone, Sicklor here, back with another video. Finally, it's been a while. Oh, and I can already see the freaking. Okay, here we go. All right, so <clears throat> I decided mostly I'm just gonna cast regular three and general zero hour because Kane's wrath doesn't work apparently. But uh, we are here on Infinity Isle. Down here as the uh, Yellow Soviets, the U.S. Man Megamito, or whatever, I don't know how to fully pronounce that, on the left side of Infinity Isle, on the, on the right side of Infinity Isle is the Red Allies, we got H2O Putin. So yeah, we're back in the casting business again. I hope this all comes out alright. Comes out right. Also we got the uh, bear coming over to scout the... Uh, <clears throat> observation post here airfield right into an airfield right after the power plant right into an airfield from Putin and I think the uh, the walls are being the walls are being built and I think the refinery is being built too yep the walls are being built down here vindicator out already probably going to scout on this but it's definitely going to spot this bear and probably take it out. No, it gets one hit off. It, get, it kills the the unit here, and gets a, hit, a small hit off in the battle bunker while almost going down itself. And so, and it's hitting this. Okay, Boone's taking out the uh, oil derrick here. Oh, he's surrounding the airfield and walls right now. Okay, but Putin is destroying that. Oil Derek so his, his opponent can't get it. Again, I want to apologize, guys. Sorry I've been inactive lately with everything. I have been sick with the cold lately, so I really haven't had the uh, voice to do so. That's a group of infantry. He is, I don't think he's going to... Is he going to get the cap on the Oil Derek? Yes, he will still get it. I'm sorry if it looks a little choppy. I'm just doing this through uh, OBS and everything still. And he, and he gets a few infantry. That takes out a almost all a half the half the half the force there. While while the uh, did the other vindicators go down? I can't tell if the other vindicators gotten down. And we got another we he an MCV move right to the center of the field. He didn't destroy this in time, so vindicators are going and dropping a strike on the base. No, they're not. They're going to get repelled, and they're going to destroy the oil derrick, actually. And the oil derrick is down, and we got a bunch of Soviets. And Soviets, yeah. It's the Soviets. Of course there's going to be a bunch of Soviets. Got a war bear, got a bunch of conscripts, and a bunch of flak troopers. All pushing forward. He better get something up here to defend his ass. Because this is going to be a tough thing, tough to defend with uh, what little he has right now. Oh, he's got a barracks down here with uh, peacekeepers. And a peacekeeper going in and garrisoning the multi-gunner turret. That'll definitely help out in holding back the assault. Oh, Derek here. He has caught his... He has captured, uh... The oil Derek on his side with it with... And he's gets, training a bunch of peacekeepers. He definitely is aware of the force that's uh, in front of him here. Was that a misplacement of the super reactor? Okay, it looks like the, the construction yard. The construction yard uh, built. Uh, oh, hey, whoa, hey. Vindicate has hit another strike on the reactor here. He moved the MCV into the water. Look at this. Look at this here. Holy, that's a. Three bears and a bunch of conscripts and flag troopers. And a bunch of peacekeepers. Personally, I mean, I have yet to fight harder AI, but I definitely have an easier time playing the Soviets than everyone else. Uh, the peacekeepers are pushing forward. Pushing these guys back, unless he's pulling a tactical, a tactical retreat. Multi gun IFB on the field. 
two IFBs. And I think more coming up. We got a fight going on here. Both Vindicators. One Vindicator does get away, but one goes down and he's pushing forward with uh, Peacekeepers and the Multi Gunner. Or Multi Gunner buggies. But I. And that's a sickle jump. That just flushed all of them. And while losing most of his forces, he does push back the initial assault. U.S. man. Uh, let's call him U.S. man. Uh, U.S. man got uh, that force repelled. Oh, okay, he got a peacekeeper hunkering down with his riot shield, but he's still being picked apart. Definitely kept those uh, sickles distracted. And both of them go down. Both of those sickles go down. Or were those infantry? I, can't, I, I don't remember. And we got three sickles, bears, and conscripts pushed on the front. But they're pulling, they're stepping back. There is that multi gunner turret there. Got a vindicator strike. And just narrowly sends, gets it out of there, but it also, but it still goes down. There's a hammer tank right there. Got IFE and a guardian tank. I wonder what's, I wonder what he's building. He's building now. It's taking that long. And I guess I could look and see what he's. I know. Yeah. Guardian tank awaiting deployment. Those guardian tanks take long. Okay. That goes to how little I play the allies. That uh, that uh, uh, that multi gun turret goes down. There's two bullfrogs, two sickles, one hammer tank, and a bunch of infantry on the line right there. IFP is defending the defending this part of the base. More vindicators coming out. And he's running on two power plants, and this is all that this is this is right now. Did he? Where's the MCV? Oh, there's the MCV. Okay, MCV on the front lines. We're fine. Or fine. We're going down there. War factory, super reactor, and reactors going right here. Okay, they are not going for the full tiers of all of what they can get. So safe. Oh shit. Okay, we got a little bit of a break in the uh, action. So how's everyone been doing? I am feeling a lot better from from the cold I had. Vindicator's coming out. What are they gonna hit? And that bullfrog is going down. And they would not be able to take any of those. Vindicators down with him. MCV moving again. Okay, okay, so it's so put and moved it's his uh MCV back to his main base. Building up here to get the ore refinery right here. I see how I see what you're doing, US man. US man. I don't know I don't know how to properly pronounce. What in the fuck? Oh, a naval yard, okay. And that MCV is going to take a big chunk of damage from those. Well, this is a decent map to get to do to do infantry stuff on. Well, not infantry stuff, but uh, navy stuff. It looks like they each got three. Well, now this is a fourth uh, one coming out. I'm guessing some of the cooler subs are coming out of this. No navy from uh, the Vindicators going, and they are going to nearly take down their ore refinery. And he, and U.S. man, shields his ore collector so it doesn't take a lot of damage. Here we take out the front of the base. All the rest of the forces are, is on the middle. With four uh, four bullfrogs, two hammer tanks, two sickles, two bears, and two conscripts. What we got coming out of here? Yep, a cooler subs. So yeah, we got a terror drone infecting the hydrofoil, and there's the seaport for the there's the navy yard, the navy yard, four H so poo. Oh, there's the okay this. 
This refinery got hit again. Well, not got hit again, but this one took a huge chunk of damage. He does have four Vindicators out, so it only makes sense. A cooler stuff does get detected. And it looks like that... That was a bad move with the carriage drum because this thing this can repair. Alright, coming up for a satellite drop. Alright, that the riptide goes down. The hydrofoil's still here. And it's gonna keep hitting uh it's gonna hit here, but the hydrofoil is gonna keep getting gonna keep detecting the cool sub. Got a, a two cooler, three cooler subs, I think. Ooh, excuse me, sorry guys. And this ore refinery gets taken down, but it gets rebuilt instantly. It's getting rebuilt instantly. These cooler subs are fighting the rift guys up front. We've got a nice little force here going. Javelins and guardian tanks, and then up here we got. Hammer tanks, conscripts, sickles, bears. Okay, and the, the cooler subs are getting pulled back, but not without one of them going down. And that na that seaport has been taken out. So now, yeah, now uh, Putin has to rebuild it. I'm assuming that's probably what he's getting ready to do. And this is gonna get shot down here and here in a moment again. Well, we got twin blades. I'm not paying attention to the bases. We got twin blades coming out from us, man, from us, man, and a battle lab. So he's going to be tearing up his units. He'll be able to get apox and dreadnought soon. Ultra torpedoes take out the uh, riptide. Multi gun turret goes down. And I think that he's going to still try and pick apart this. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna keep trying to pick apart this uh, refinery here. And this refinery is going down. Multi gunner turret is gonna su successfully repel these. We got some more riptides coming out from. from. H. Sopun. And we got a small group of uh, twin blades being built. And another Akula Soap goes down. This, seat, and this Navy Yard is definitely up next on for, on the list of getting taken down. And Twin Blades on the main base. We're gonna harass the uh, refinery a little bit. Only to get pushed back by the IFBs. But they do take down one of the IFBs and none of the, none of the uh, Twin Blades go down. Surprisingly. Four clerks are coming all the way back to... Uh, Try and refill because it got its thing got destroyed over here. We got some more cooler subs coming out, and that is another that is a, na a naval yard gone. Okay, got a seaport. Oof, excuse me, probably building a bunch of hydrofoils and riptides. The last remaining cooler sub at the moment. Vindicator's gone out. And they're checking up here to see if there's anything else up here. And they'll find no one home, but they will hit the MCV. If Putin does manage to destroy that, then he will definitely eliminate this build radius. We've got bullfrogs and hammer tanks up pushing the front. With the rest, rest of the oh, rest of the units in tow, we got a we have a massive force of uh, something's got hit. Okay, that got hit by a satellite strike. All right, and we got uh, peacekeepers, and the attack is begin is beginning. And there's a cryo shot going off, blocking off one of the bullfrogs. And that attack is pushed back over the other. There's the first APOC tank. There might be more. This is the first one I'm seeing. Vindicator's, Vindicator's catching something. Bear Roar goes off to disorient the peacekeepers. 
How are these twin blades still alive? Okay, one of them goes down, finally, holy crap. Apoc tank taking a beating, and that is going down. That vehicle doesn't get away. Here comes another Apoc tank. That's some big promotions for those guys. Did I just hear a terror drone somewhere? Oh no, we got a Natasha in the field. Natasha is in the field. Four twin blades remaining, one APOC tank left. The attack has been repelled for now. We got some aircraft carriers coming out. So he has finally upgraded everything. Just looking, is there a defense bureau anywhere or no? No, there is no defense bureau. We got riptides, vindicators, and aircraft, and an aircraft carrier. And they are finally finding the vehicle up, the lone cool sub, taking it down. And the uh, aircraft carrier is trying to pick apart everything here. And it is going to get. The, what is this? Doing? That a puck gets destroyed. I did hear that these twin blades might be going down. One of them goes down to the hydrofoil. And how many more APOC tanks we got coming out? We got a bullfrog, one, one APOC, four bullfrogs, sorry. Then we got the tank and infantry force here. Alright, okay, so I think the Defense Bureau is only for, uh, to get the super weapons, if I'm correct. Because you can get the upgrades just from your MCV. While everyone else needs something else to upgrade. One Apoc, four Bullfrogs, two Twin Blades ring. And it looks like we might be seeing another Natasha. Yeah, we're seeing another Natasha. The MCV gets sent back to the middle middle of the field. Another APOC coming out with the Terra Drone and Tell and Bullfrogs. But the Bullfrogs can only do stuff against against aerial units. What is this? What is this? This is this red beam. I have no idea what that is. Crowd shot goes off and will it catch anything? It catches. It catches the bullfrog and the APOC tank goes down. We got the aircraft carrier picking apart at the uh, ore refinery. Natasha is back on the field again. Oh, and there's Kirov's in there in the air too now. Okay, I didn't even see that. And it's going to attempt to destroy the ore refinery. And it succeeds, but will it go down in the process? Yep, it is going to be going down. There's so much rockets firing at it. But it takes the war factor with it, and the gear off finally goes down. Vindicate has killed off another APOC game. Natasha go for kills. Natasha killing the infantry and the vehicles. And this APOC tank is just going down and crushing all the infantry here. Is this aircraft carrier attacking anything? Yes, it is attacking. It's trying to take out the back forces here. And this attack for this force just got cleaned off the map. Oh, and that, uh... Vindicator gets the kill on the uh, APOC tank, and the aircraft carrier is still trying to take down. Is, ta is uh, still trying to take that down. Natasha's going in there, and she is sending a, a satellite strike going down on right here. Bullfrog's taking out, trying to take out the Vindicators. Natasha backing off and everything. This is a uh, fun. Yeah, this is a max upgrade. And it doesn't even take them down. It takes down the walls, but not the buildings. 
That is unfortunate. Natasha and the Bullfrog pulling off. Terror drone coming in. Aircraft carrier slowly picking apart at the uh, APOC tank backup. We've got the MCV being pushed back to the main base. Another APOC tank. Aircraft carrier is almost destroyed. Terror drones I uh, shocking these. How's it not dead yet? And it's okay, it's still not dead somehow. Natasha using her uh Okay, it destroys that, destroys that reptile. These get picked, these reptiles get picked off, and I think this one's gonna be very we're gonna be right next to it. Crowd shot going off, and will it get Natalia? It will get Natalia, but the airfield does go down. Now the Vindicator has nowhere to go. Got twin blades and two Apox. It looks like this is this might be one of the last pushes of the game, but I could be completely wrong. Aircraft carrier coming in to try and destroy the Apox tank. It gets one of them. And the ore collector gets destroyed. Natasha just said, though, we got another APOC tank on the field. Something was going on here. Alright, we got another APOC tank. It might get the snipe, it might get the kill on the refinery. And it gets the kill on the refinery. And it, it was, I think it was going to go for the crush. And it just got itself killed. We got twin blades picking apart the. Uh... Oh, there's a twin blade in the back. Twin blades picking apart the uh... refinery, and we got some Kir another Kirov coming in. Apoc tank uh, looking to destroy this. I uh, better on this max level riptide. Or max level, level. I don't know what it's called in this game. I forget. And it escapes safely back to air, back to the land, back to the sea. Taking pot shots at the NPC. Oh, what is that? What is that that it's doing? Oh, what's using the grinding bar? Oh, shit. You just gotta take care of this thing quick, because that's gonna pick apart. Okay, the twin blades get the kill on the aircraft carrier, and they get the kill on the, uh... APOC tank. Now it's got twin blades coming out. Where's the Kirov? There's the Kirov. But I say, I think the Red Alert 2 Kirov is a lot more threatening than this one is. Voice 2. And all these twin blades have been knocked down. And it is going down. Another twin blade falls to the javelins. Kirov is slowly creeping itself over. Hydrofoil is trying to put it down, but it is getting itself out of range of the hydrofoil. But it is still in range of the javelins, forcing the sell off of the turret because of low power. And it. You met US man is US man is sending it out here to try and take this part of the base out. Will it make it over? Let's find out if it'll make it over. No, it's clearing out the scouts there. And now it's taking javelin and hydrofoil fire. So this is definitely going down. Oh, there's an airfield up here too. I forgot about that. And just before it can get over to the airfield. It goes down. We got a bunch of MIGs in the air to take care of the uh, air infantry. Or their vehicles, why I say infantry. Twin blades being brought out again. This barracks is still up for some reason. Twin blades killing off the javelin troops. Somehow, somehow that's one surviving. 
got an Apollo fighter coming in to take the vehicle, take it down. MIG's coming in to take out the Apollo. Take out H so's Apollo. Take out Putin's Apollo. And now the MIG fighters are here to support the Twin Blades. MC gets packed up and moved. And it's got the cash bounty on its head now. Lone Peacekeeper sitting there. Taking out the power plant. US Man is taking out the power plant. While, uh... DMCV retreats to the water. Don't know how well, how safe it's gonna be there. All of the all the aerial stuff pulling back for the moment. Trying to try and counter the uh, more twin blades coming out. Yeah, we got a bunch of twin blades being produced right now. Oh, satellite, satellite crash. Will it get the kill on this? This is the this is the big one. There it is. Where is it? Hit? It doesn't get the kill, but it does massive damage to everything. Hydrofoil swiftly take care of the Apollos. Why is he in the mix? Why is he attacking the walls? The ore collector is coming out to try and get get some more ore, and it looks like from the, from the appearance of it, the ore mines are emptied, and no uh, other naval yard from US, from U.S. man. Apollo's following the MIGs back to the base, following the uh, twin blades back to the base, and the bullfrog does get the kill on one of them. On one of the Apollos. And there's the Navy Yard. I was just talking about it. Oh yeah, with the... Oh, he moved the MCV back to the high ground. Because yeah, right now, most of this... Most of Putin's forces is on, is on, is on the water, so... And he sells off. GG gets called. And US Man takes the win. Over H2O Putin. That was nice to watch, honestly. That was nice. Alright, let's see, like, uh, the units. Who had, let's see how everything went. Okay, so a US man had a victory in the units, and uh, he had more, he did more units than Putin, which makes sense. Soviets are about a lot of units. Structures, okay. Pretty flat right there. Even after the ore refinery harassments and the ore refiners going down, U.S. Man still had a really good economy going. Summary, let's look. 23 minutes. 21, 21, 24, 11, 5, 13, 1, 1. Okay. Average income per minute, 5,209 a minute for a U.S. Man and 3,479 for H2O Putin. Uh, G the GG got called. U.S. Man takes the win over Putin. Over H2O Putin. On Infinity Isle. And I I have three, two, three, two more replays, like right here. This is an infantry only one, and I got this one right here. This one, don't mind this. This is just me playing, just for the hell of it earlier. But that'll be all for this video. Thank you all for tuning in to watch this with me. And uh, I'm hoping to be back to trying to semi-regularly upload stuff. And I'll catch you all in my next video. I'm out.